hey guys welcome back to another clean with me in today's video i'll be doing a deep spring clean with me i'm pretty excited about this video because i've been dying for a new change in this living room i feel like i get like tired of seeing the same thing what i like to do first is pick up anything that doesn't belong in the area that i am cleaning so that's basically what i'm doing is putting everything where it belongs I also wanted to ask, what kind of videos do you guys like to watch? My cleaning, my baby videos, my beauty. I'm not really into beauty like that, but I am into the mommy and clean with me type of videos and obviously vlogs. So I went ahead and removed a few of the bigger items that I can move by myself out of the living room area and now I'm just gonna vacuum everything and sweep as well, just so there's no dirt being pushed around underneath the couch or anywhere that I don't want it to be. So we usually keep our to-go shoes right near the door. I'm just gonna move them out of the way just so I can sweep. As you can tell, this area really collects a lot of dirt obviously because it's right in front of the door. I did get a mat for that area. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna put it there or I'm gonna put it outside because it is a outdoor mat, but I'll show you later on in the video. If anyone is wondering where I got my chairs, I got them from Target. I'll leave the link down below for them. I'm actually gonna get three more once I move and I'm also gonna get a kitchen table. I already have one in mind from Ikea. Something that I like to do every time I sweep, I also make sure to sweep my baseboards because I don't want to be on my hands and knees scrubbing it. And I do have a clip of me actually doing that with some Clorox wipes just because I never got the chance to actually sweep it and I totally forgot about that area. You're going to take the carpet out. I think I like it so much more. Honestly, I want to say this if I move. So you guys are probably wondering where the heck are you going to put this big old carpet? My landlord actually has a garage and she doesn't mind if we put things in there. I don't really have much in the garage except summer stuff and beach equipment. Let me know down in the comments what you guys liked more. The carpet or the wood floors. Maybe later on I might Put the carpet back in maybe around winter time but since spring's around the corner i really wanted to refresh this area rolled up so neatly <laughs> i just have to get to ram wrap it so it's protected that's what i want to do but look at how it looks it looks so nice without the carpet i actually rather have it without it i feel like the carpet was just making it look really small and like too modern Put these chairs back. I want to get a new wallpaper for this because as you can tell I've been spraying it and it's not good so I definitely don't recommend to put like wallpaper on a piece of plywood because that will happen. So this clip was actually four days later and I just can't do a deep clean in one day especially with a newborn.
ended up just getting this water resistant one because the last one I got was just for the wall and it wasn't water resistant. So it got really bumpy and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one. I got this one at Home Depot's for $8, almost like nine. So it wasn't too bad and the row is pretty thick. So let's put this on real quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. These are the Project 62, the 99.9 .9 blackout curtain. I prefer these better and they're a little bit more pricier, but honestly it's worth it. I'll show you the difference between my son's room and my room with the curtains because these curtains are pretty similar to those. Those are just longer and these are like short ones just because my couch is against the wall where the um, windows are. So I want to get shorter ones so they're not like all over the couch or just bunched up behind the couch. So I got like the right length. I wasn't too sure if I wanted to keep the mirror here or place it somewhere else. I honestly have no room for it, but I really like it a lot and I don't want to get rid of it. I actually didn't have any glass cleaner at home, so I ended up just using my all-purpose Myers spray. Does anybody else do that? Like if you guys ran out of any product and you don't really feel like running to the store, you just use what you got? I'm pretty sure in a few of my videos, I already mentioned that this shelf right here is all David's. So I don't really mess with it that often. All I really do is clean it and organize it. And I'm honestly gonna show you how I wrap up my wires. So that's basically what I'm doing right here. Fun fact, I actually worked at a hotel and it was a five star, five diamond hotel. So with the wires and stuff, we actually had to keep it really neat. And that's how I learned this technique. Purchase your tracks today. So a few weeks ago, I actually came across these electronic wipes from Dollar Tree. They work okay. They're not the best. I feel like they're super dry, but I feel like just because it's for only electronics it's not going to be super wet but it did its job so i'm not complaining So this is the wall that I actually mentioned earlier in the video. I really never got to it, so it was pretty gross. this down this was an outdoor mat and it's so freaking cute i don't know if i want to put it outside or just use it as a shoe holder type of thing because we leave our shoes right beside this 
pedal trunks for $16.99. And when they first came out with this, I feel like it was like $40. I don't know if like I read the price right. But when I seen that it was $16.99, I'm like, that's so weird. Because when I seen it, it was $40. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that So we could just kind of put our shoes there. We do still have the shoe rack, but for our like quick to go shoes, we like to have them right by the door. So I think that's really nice. I'm gonna keep that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the chairs back as well. I'm pretty excited to be using this on my couch. You can tell the difference from when we first bought it and it's just dirty so it's time for us to clean it. I just purchased this one. It's actually like a pet one. We don't have any animals or anything like that but I feel like I'm hoping that it has more power than just any regular spot cleaner thing. So yeah, we'll, we're gonna test it out and see if it actually works. So this is one of the nozzles. This is more of like a flat surface area one. And then they also have this one if you can get into the corners and stuff like that. So my spot cleaner actually came with the oxy boost and I'm not really sure what stain this was. I never even seen it until I cleaned over it and it just appeared there. So I ended up putting this oxy boost and it worked really good. So it took about three to four hours for the couch to completely dry which wasn't too bad because I was out most of the day this day because I did film this a whole another day At this time, I realized that it wasn't sucking up the water out of the couch and it was because it was actually full so I had to empty it out and I went back a few hours later because Sire did wake up and I ended up just finishing the couch. Just your tracks today. 